Robin. Today we're going to be using fingernail polish as paint to create designs on glass. Your supplies include a work surface, fingernail polish, some simple tools, and glass. Before I start working on my glass, I'd advise testing out your supplies and experimenting a little. I want to try out my tools, um, I might want to explore color combinations and how get the feel of using my uh, nail polish as a paint. Speaking of paint, your nail polish is a kind of enamel paint. Uh, enamel paint has a solvent in it, so you will definitely want to work in a well-ventilated area. Um, it also dries really fast, so when we work, we're going to use one color at a time and pour those little puddles onto something like an upcycled item. Um, this I found in my recycling bin. I'm just going to use this to pour my puddles on too. And I'll also get a chance to experiment here. Some of the things I've tried already, of course, my favorite thing, dots. Small and large dots are as easy as they get. Combinations of these can be very beautiful when you practice. You get a chance to find out uh, you know, what it takes to mess up a little and avoid those in the future. And just have some fun with your ideas. So I've already started this one a little bit, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to create a really pretty design using these simple things. Um, let's go ahead and just experiment with the Q-tip a little bit. Sometimes my Q-tips the fur on them kind of falls off. You can see this one's doing that already, but I'll give it a whirl anyhow. Let's see how this goes. Um, you might have better luck than I do. Some people really like using the Q-tip, but you can see mine's falling apart already, so I'm gonna ditch that one. One of my favorites is using just a smooth eraser, the smooth eraser of a pencil, and the tip really makes some nice dots too. So those two colors look really nice together. As you work, you want to stay away from the very top of your uh, glass so that it doesn't touch your mouth later on. Let's go ahead and try some of those little dots like I talked about. This pencil tip really works great for that. You might try the tip of a toothpick maybe or a paper clip perhaps. Again, experiment and if you don't have any plastic cups or other objects to practice on, a piece of paper works fine too. After a little more practicing, um, I came up with this design that I really think is kind of cute. Uh, these are just basic dots with little dots that go around it. So I'll just show you real quick how easy that is. I started off with a pencil, pencil eraser and, and now to make it look a little like a flower, you can just tap those dots around. If you are more ambitious or artistic or creative, by all means, try using a paintbrush to paint designs on or objects. I saw some really pretty ideas that were um, dragonflies that were painted on, uh, roses. So lots of ideas can be found on Google and in your own imagination. Please don't feel like you have to just copy what I'm doing. Wow, it looks kind of cute just with polka dots, right? I can keep adding, but I think I'm gonna go with my flower idea. Let's see how it goes.
One thing you need to know is do not put this in your dishwasher. It should be hand washed. I hope you enjoyed this activity. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. Also, I would love to see your art. So please, please share it with me by sending me an email. Cheers.